Uh, majority of people who work here are from, from the area, from Aspen. A lot of them have worked here upwards of 35, 40 years. They've been here, they've learned it, they've known it. Everything here is pretty much hands-on. You don't see a whole lot of automation in our, in our factory. We do have a, a CNC router and, and like a plasma cutter for some of our tubing, but other than that, most of it's all very well hands-on. A lot of our customers like knowing that they're handcrafted here at Aviate Aircraft and, and knowing that around 86% of the airplane is built here in-house. We're constantly doing R&D. It's, it's, it's a never-ending thing here. We're always trying to make the plane better, make the customers you know, interested in, in seeing new things on the airplane. And we're still doing huge projects today for whether it be from a full airplane we're doing a full project on, whether it be like an airplane running on CNG or to an airplane with leading edge slats or slots to try to get them off the ground quicker or to just changing up our instrument panels, putting in different instruments. Uh, the avionics world is constantly moving, so people always want the next best we're right in the middle of the heart of the backcountry, so we can fly up to, you know, per se, Idaho, land on some backcountry strips with some customers, show them what the plane's capable of doing. And, and our altitude's higher, we're 6,200 feet, so it's, it's easy to show what the plane can do at higher altitudes. You know, Afton sees a, a majority of its traffic just because of Avia being here. I mean, you got to show the people that, that live here that fly, you know, on the weekends or whatever, some of that traffic, but the majority of the traffic's because of the aircraft factory right here. We sell them all throughout the United States. We actually sell in the United Kingdom, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Kenya, Zimbabwe. People in like the United Kingdom side of things like to see them for you know glider towers or just going out recreational flying. Most of the, the countries that buy them in the Africa area, you know, in the Africa continent, they usually use them to to check for poachers for like such things as elephant tusks, stuff like that. So they're usually flying them for that or wildfires. Um, search, you see everything for search and rescue operations. There's been a lot of like the celebrity status style people come in here. Harrison Ford, John Travolta, Alan Jackson, Kurt Russell owns a Husky. Tom Cruise, they actually filmed um, Top Gun with a Pitts. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't really realize it, but they filmed it with it. A lot of the cockpit shots are out taken out of a Pitts aircraft. The aircraft is 100% built in the USA, which is a big thing. So we, we do pay attention to, to how we affect the economy around us as well as you know other people. And, 